Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Uh, you know we like all things mechanical. We like antiques and things like that. I came across a really nice little pancake motor. Check it out, tell me what you okay, think. Okay, what we have here is a nice antique Emerson pancake motor. These things are pretty heavy. I'll put it on the scale in a minute to see how much it weighs. But uh, you can see here uh, the name tag, 110 volts, uh, 1150 RPM, made for alternating current because a lot of these old motors ran on direct current back in the early days of brushless motors uh this thing looks like it's uh it's been used quite a bit they this originally came out of one of those player pianos and uh it's really a, a beautiful motor but the problem is somebody uh, probably adapted it for woodworking or something and because of that you have sawdust this is jammed uh and what that nut does or screw is actually move the motor back and forth to tension the pulley. Um, it has oil ports here and here to oil the uh, the bearings. Spins easily. Uh, I tested it out. It does work. I want to put it on the Variac to run it on 110 volts. But um, you can see we've got some sawdust in there. So as much as I hate to do it, we're going to have to take it apart. And we're going to have to try and get some of this paint off here. It was repainted gray. I want to get it to original black. So let's get to it. Okay, so uh, let's see. We started taking off the back, as you can see. Uh, the one thing about this motor is that the, the castings fit really tight together. So uh, after so many years and with the paint and everything, you really got to get in there. Uh, afterwards, we tried to take the base off, but those, those screws just weren't budging. And thank God I have an impact driver. My Craftsman impact driver made short work of that. And uh, we were able to remove those screws. And then... Uh, we had to use some Krell to get the uh, the hand knob off. The, that's a uh, penetrating oil. And then uh, again, we were having trouble with these screws. We had to go back to the Craftsman uh, impact driver, took them off one, two, three. And now that the motor's ready, we could start scraping some paint down. And now we're using a single edge razor blade. That's it. That's all we're using. And we're just getting in there, all the nicks and crannies and moving it around and constantly uh, going back and forth on the, you know, trying to get. Remember, there's uh, the green paint and the gray paint, and then we took the knobs off. Uh, once we finished, we went over to the wire brush. We did the base. The base came out real nice on that, and then we did the uh, the outer cover. Uh, this one went a little bit easier. Apparently, the curved surfaces didn't hold the paint as well. They didn't prep it too well when they painted it, so it was good for me. Uh, we spent a few minutes taking that uh, knob down on the uh, wire brush to make it look good. And then after that, we uh, cleaned it out, vacuumed it out, and we're good to go. Okay, we're coming good with the restoration here. Um, one thing that uh, I want to point out is that in these oil, there's oil caps, top and bottom. You see one here. On the top, they have a port. And uh, underneath this port, there's an oil wick. And this wick, transfer oil, when you, you drip it in there, it transfers, and then it rubs against the uh the shaft of the uh of the armature in this way that's what lubricates it so important to remember take that out uh just give it a good cleaning we're going to put it back in but we're going to clean this out using q-tips and some solvent we're going to clean out the inside here make sure there's nothing in there and uh all the way through we cleaned up the inside of the end, uh, motor it looks good let's oh, keep i going. apologize for my ignorance on these motors but um I took this, uh, I guess the armature you would call this out, and you could see as this uh, spring pushes in, it looks like these weights pull out and they follow it up. So um, not to take everything apart because I don't really know <laughs> too much what I'm doing. I'm taking solvent and cleaning out with Q-tips and whatnot. Every part of that, uh, remember that uh, sawdust and everything that was in this motor, taking it all out, cleaning it up, and then I'm lubricating all the moving, movement, uh, moving points and anything that's... Uh, that looks like it needs uh, cleaning. I'm just cleaning with the Q-tip and it looks real good. We're gonna be putting this back in in a minute, oil everything up and maybe we'll get this running okay. today. We did the components for the base. This one goes on to the motor. Uh, this piece here is the drive nut and it, what it does is it moves the motor back and forth so you can tension the belt. These uh, bushings go in here to keep it centered. We're just gonna uh, install it. Everything came out nice. We'll put it back together. Okay, we are finished. Uh, I weighed it. It weighs 20 and a half pounds, probably 21 before I took all that lead paint off, which is now in my lungs. Uh, 
Okay, here's the deal. We uh, cleaned it up. Everything's nice and clean inside. No more sawdust. We took this down to, uh, took all the paint off only because it was too much chipped and I couldn't save any of it. Um, it works really well. There's, you can see this is uh, greased here and it slides it back and forth just the way it's supposed to. So that works well. We filled it up with oil. We used a uh, three-in-one motor oil. Um, we made up a cord just to test it out. But uh, you can see we went over it with a uh, rubbing compound and then just some WD-40. And it uh, looks really nice. And it uh, spins real easy now. Everything's all lubed and ready. Let's give it a run. Now, normally, you know me, I would take everything down and spray it uh, new black, but I have to tell you, this thing has so much character from all the years, and remember, it's painted once green and then once gray, so I just figured I'm going to leave it the way it is. This is the original paint that was on there, even though it's missing some, but uh, let's plug it in and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? Almost a hundred years old, that thing still runs like uh, like the day it was made. Beautiful. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the restoration. This old uh, Emerson pancake motor. Have a nice day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye now.